Hey, this is Hal Ruth, and it's time for your Equalizer 9 Tip of the Week. So what we're going to talk about this week is how we respond to those very early sales calls. When we're going to meet a potential client about a project, or maybe just go meet a client in general about, hey, we would love to start a relationship with you. Now, the fatal error that most general contractors, CMs, specialty contractors, or for that matter, any business, when you go to meet that client for the first time, you talk way too much about yourself. In fact, you drive the me car. Now, I didn't invent the me car. I learned this from someone else, but let me, let me demonstrate me driving the me car. And here we go. Me, 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 you, you, me, 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 you, me, 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 me. Silly, I know. But here's the point we're trying to make here. And that got my dog excited, by the way. Here's the point that we're trying to make here is that we go out there and we just throw up all over the client about here's all the projects we've done, here's how great our people are, here's our awards, here's our accomplishments, here's our rankings, here's our volume. And we just spew on the client in this very first meeting about how great we are. And we don't talk about them. Here's what we want to do in those early, early meetings, those first meetings, those first touch points. We want to show them that we're credible, that we, we do the kind of work that, they're, that they need a construction partner for. So we'll show them, maybe we'll show them a little brochure and we'll say, we do the kind of work you do. We're credible. We've been around a long time. We have a depth of resources. But at the point that we have established credibility, in other words, that they recognize, yeah, you guys are players in what we do. At that point, you want to flip it very early and you want to make it about them. You want to start, first of all, asking questions about them personally, get to know them as people, make connections. What are they interested in? Where do they go to school? Find some way to make that connection, but also then start asking about their company. Learn about them. Learn about what they're struggling with. If they have an upcoming project, learn about what their hot points are, what their pain points are, what they're laying in bed at night and they can't, they're staring at the ceiling, can't go to sleep at 2 a.m. What are they thinking about then? Ask them about past projects, what went really right and what went really wrong and where they struggle over and over. Learn about their projects and their needs. What it will do is it will prompt something that will create the need for a next meeting where you're going to try to go out there and show them how you can respond to their challenge. I actually have, and, and some of you probably heard me talk about this uh, before, is I teach this thing called client data mining where we ask these right questions so that we can frame our um, message on how, why us? around solving their problems, not about just talking about how great we are. And that's the key. So if you're interested in getting a copy of my client data mining guide to show what questions you should be asking your clients, give me a call. Uh, at the end, you'll see how to email me and how to call me. Uh, also, um, stay tuned for next week's Equalizer 9 Tip of the Week. Thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this week's Equalizer 9 Tip of the Week. If you enjoyed it, please go on our website and uh, subscribe to our newsletter. All you do is just put your information in there and we'll send it right to your inbox every week. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can certainly email me at how at equalizer9.com or call me at 919-427-1761. Until next time, have a great day.